All right, well, welcome back. So in this clip, we are looking at an M mode tracing using the parasternal long axis window of the heart through the mitral valve leaflet tip. So essentially, we're setting ourselves up for an endpoint septal separation or EPSS measurement of this heart. And so EPSS is essentially a way of estimating ejection fraction based on the excursion of the mitral valve leaflet from the intraventricular septum. So for context, we're looking at the intraventricular septum right here. We're looking at the leaf, the mitral valve leaflet movement in this waveform here with our E wave representing the passive filling during early diastole and the A wave representing active filling during atrial contraction. Now, generally, EPSS is considered to be a relatively qualitative way of estimating ejection fraction, meaning that if it is over a certain threshold, it's con consistent with a low ejection fraction. However, Silverstein and colleagues in 2006 in the American Journal of Cardiology published a formula that can be used to input the EPSS value and output an ejection fraction estimation quantitatively. And so this number is essentially the ejection fraction is roughly equal to 75.5 minus 2.5 times the EPSS value. 